Hello folks, Sam Owens here uh, with another fine product that uh, is going to really enhance home, especially living room. It's a coffee table that has a lift top to it. So we're going to get into the assembly. Up to the right, uh, you're going to see information that I'm going to display about the product as we go through the assembly. So first thing is to open it up. All I've seen is the picture so far, so there's a little picture right there. And up above, you're going to see the product view. And the all-important user manual. I'm going to be following this closely, and uh, since I haven't used it, I'm going to see how it goes. Sometimes uh, I run into something that uh, doesn't quite go right. I'll be telling you about it. All right. Let's see here first. Usually they show you the parts list and the hardware. So this is all important to review and look at and get a good view of just what's going to have to take place. You see everything is laid out and I tried to lay it out with the numbers facing out and uh, assemble uh, parts in the area that they go together. This is the first thing we're going to be looking at to see where the pieces that they uh, tell us to assemble uh, in step one. Now we're going to go over to step one. It is right over here. And as you see, it tells you the hardware that you need. You need a C dowel and a B screw. And it tells you the quantities. And over here, it tells you the tool you need. You may want to read through this manual fully before you try to assemble to see the items you'll need, a, a Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to use a, uh, a, a cordless drill with a clutch on it, and uh, I'll demonstrate that. But if you're not proficient with uh, or understand the use of a drill, uh, and you can strip out screws if you don't uh, s uh, set it up correctly. I selected the hardware strip, which are, there's letters on it identifying it. So it says that in step number one, we want part, we want four of the B parts and two of the C parts are the uh, parts five and six. And notice they're orientated as I showed with the groove down here and this is where we're putting the screws right here. Now here is the tool, a cordless drill and this is the screwdriver Phillips number two uh, that you'll use uh, to put these in. If you are not real familiar with using a cordless drill with a slippable clutch, okay? Uh, I'm going to set this at close to like setting two right there and then increase it if I need it. I don't want to strip the screws out. So I'm going to go ahead and put two in the location they show and and I just put it in lightly first and no, don't go all the way. You hear that? That means it's it's just right. Okay, those two parts are complete except I got to put the C dowel in and it goes right there. And I've satisfied step number one. We're going to go to step number two. Watching step number two, you follow it and lay the parts out exactly the way they show. We're adding part number seven. And it's got a rail, notice it's on the bottom, and we're going to insert these little uh, locks into the holes in each side, and they're showing where the locks go. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and let you just see it. But you just kind of lay things out so you've got it positioned right. Then you lay this down, and you put these in. This is where a screwdriver would be hand. The Phillips side goes up, and these, these parts you put in 
are going to go inside this hole and unlock. So, you want to make it easy on yourself, place them where this opening is facing the hole and it'll be better. Right like that and there's actually, there's actually an arrow right there that will help you. Put that arrow in line with the hole right there. The instructions tell you to take and insert these right there and then what you do is take your screwdriver and you turn these clockwise and it will lock that screw in all the way and you lock the bottom one in. This is what they use instead of screws going through. It's a great system and very strong. That's one. Now we take part number six. They show it over here, but first we got to put Oh no, it's already in, sorry. And that dowel is going to be right there also and go in. And here, notice how if you line that arrow up, it's gonna go right in with no trouble. Okay, there you go. This part is done. And I will put it over to the side and they're even showing you in inserts just how to do what I did. Okay, with this sitting just like it is when we completed the other parts, we're going to assemble part number nine, which is this one. And if you'll notice, it's smooth on one side, got two holes and got two holes here. And you want to orientate this like this to go in to here. This is the way it's going to go. Okay, but in these two holes, I have to put those little latch the dowel's going there, that's going there. And now I'm going to have to rotate this up, use my screwdriver, and now I lock this in. Okay, so that's locked in. Oh, I already had that in. Well, I guess I did. <laughs> oh, I get confused sometimes. All right. Step number three is correct, and we are ready to go to step number four. Seven of the screws and four dowels for both uh, all together. Okay, so one of them we're going to put uh, just one in here, a screw, and two over here according to that. So I'm going to put those in right now. And so you just very carefully watch the orientation. And then on this one, we put a dowel right there. And it's actually showing it. That's C. Okay, and I can put that over to the side because it's complete. I'm going to put it right there. Bring this one over. And we're going to do the same thing looking at the picture now. And now, with the main assembly back over here, we're going to attach part number three to it. Um, I made a, an error in this board right here. You see it has a groove? Well, in the step that it showed putting that in, in step number two, the groove should be on the top. Okay, now... In the picture, they clearly showed that the groove went here, and this makes more sense in that they line up now. We want to put part number three right here. We want to line it up with that, but we got to mount some hardware in there. We need uh, four of these locking screws. This goes into here, line those holes up, and line the ends up there and then go ahead and get this by holding that and remember the arrow and it'll make this real easy showtime folks okay now the picture is showing just putting these into the holes in both five and six and then just tightening up so now we've got that assembled 
fully it looks like at this point. Now we're going to seven. Ah, we're gonna do some orientation and we're going to put part number eight on here. On these four. But look carefully, you can, you wanna orientate where you have these screws lined up with that center. If you turned it around, you'd have them in the wrong place. So these have to line up. There we go. Before I do that, I need a dowel in there. They're showing it right here. See, right there. Okay, now, and then, let's see, before we go any further, and then I'll just go ahead and assemble it. You want the screw, then go into the washer, and then into the leg through the hole and the part number eight. Do the center one first, and it should line up with the hole, and that'll help me there. That'll help guide it, because you need to get that dowel up in there, and then the rest will line up really good. And I can see the screw down there. And here, I'll take one of the screws, and pick the bit I need, which is 8-4 if you're going to use um, a uh, cordless drill. And I just put this in there. And it's still on the low setting. And I can just pop this in here. And then I get the next one. Line them up. We go to eight and they want us to pick up piece number one and put some hardware in it. Now, I need two, one right here. And one over on the other side. And the last one. complete okay and then we go to step number nine now it's flipped over and it's orientated with the small side here and the larger side over there now we're going to put one on there and we have all this hardware we have to put in it's going to take the six a locking screws this open area is gonna go right on this side. So the, all of these screws and dowels are going to line up with these holes right here. And we just pop this down. So the key thing is put this to the front and just kind of get your head down there and just line them up. Same way with over here. And they should line up. May have to pick it up a little bit to get it to line up. Let me see. Oh, I see. That dowel, it's got to line up. The dowel, I had to push it over. It wasn't quite getting in the hole. So look around. If there's a dowel that's kind of a little bit, you may have to take your finger, but it should go and see and, and twist those locking devices. And there were six of them, one for each one of these screws, there, and then in the back, that's complete, step number 10, we're going to need four of the G screws, that's a different screw, and some M's, these are the brackets, right here. They have a piston, which one of the nice features is this has a lift assist, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, install these. We're going to put the M uh, set of hinges, lift hinges, and uh, this is the way they're going to be orientated. They're not marked, but you see how the angle should be facing one another, and the way this piston is facing. Now, 
if you'll notice there's two holes that are toward this would be the front edge that this should be at and just to verify if you look over here the hinge part here is going back this will help orientate that should be toward the front edge just the way I've got it orientated here put her in by hand and then use the Allen tool tighten it uh, the angle part will go in okay so there give her a couple of good turns okay two must have got it at five <laughs> okay watch your fingers in this because this is tensioned and you can get hurt with this so I would say not to kind of compress it while you're working on it folks notice one other thing if you'll look we've got to turn this around it did not say uh, that but you got to look carefully uh, and the little side has got to be on the right hand side so I'm going to turn it around and we'll see how this lines up I see what I can do is just rest it on that edge and get one of the back screws on this this hinge back here the very back top screw I can let that rest on there and I'll put it in so this is something that will work ah. okay you can see how I'm doing it and now I can get the other one the top one over on this side now that I got that I line her up and find the little hole and once you get the two back ones in then you can work with it okay it's not gonna hurt see now I can tip it and get the other screws in that's the key letting it rest here okay you saw it here first now I can go to the other side and I'm gonna get them hand tight right now so now I'm just gonna and hold on to this don't let it drop back and now I'm going to get one of the screws on the top front in and wiggle back and forth and it'll go in quite easy so you don't have weight on the screw okay and then over here I'm going to do the same thing folks I missed another step step number six uh, item 10 is a shelf that goes in to these grooves right here we don't have it in and it can't be put in and this leg has to come off so I've got to take this top at least this leg off and uh, see if I can support it up and remove this so that I can slide that in this is part number 10 which I should have put in uh, when I assemble these or when I put the when I put these ends on before that I should have put this in like this but it's easy enough to correct but you're not gonna make that mistake because you've already seen it made I guarantee you I wouldn't make it again <laughs> okay and it'll stick out a little bit here I have a brace on the other side a rod that's holding this side up and that hinge is still on uh, to correct this and then I have to put this I had to lift it up to get these screws out but it's easy enough to put back together okay this is the drawer that's going to go on the other side but it's going to go on in through the other side and this is what you're using is 11 12 and 13. okay i'm set i'm going to put these two in and there's two holes there and then there'll be two holes at the other end but we need it like this that's exactly the way they're showing and there's a, a little hinge thing on there or drawer slide now just take this around actually this is going to go over top of that 
and this is going to go right in there and screw in and you want to be careful these are fine screws so you don't need to go too tight with them so go down not tighten them up yet till you get the other one in and then use your finger to guide on the other side to see if it's uh, flush because you want it to go in the pilot hole yeah it's going and stop before it gets all the way and then I'm going to line this up and see make sure this is all flush when you're doing it I'm going to put the 15 in which is over there in the corner slide it in and then we're going to put uh, a screw and a handle and uh, make sure this groove is down and it should all assemble right in there and let's see and then there's some screw holes there then later we'll end up 14 locking it in uh, to the drawer so here we go There's a nice drawer, and you can take those off later, uh, the little labels. Okay, we're going to put a matching uh, knob on this side, the right side, but it doesn't really pull. This is the drawer over here, and it's got the slides. We're going to install that. So I'm going to do that right now. <clears throat> There's two slides on either side like this. And let's see, this is supposed to go in, and there's locks right here that will release uh, to, to pull it out. Once you put them in, these little locks are going to keep it from pulling all the way out. So you just, you're going to hear the snap, and you line up the little slot like that. There, you heard it. Okay, now... See, that's going to keep it from going. Then you reach in there and pull up on both of those, and then the drawer will come out. So it's in there now. Step 16, put these little felt, or, or actually their foam, uh, down on these four corners so that when the top comes down, it has something to kind of rest against. So there it is, folks, fully assembled. I had two little errors, but now when you watch my videos, those will not happen to you. Uh, and I'll put something uh, where not sec uh, step number six, where I should have slid that unit in, I'll uh, put a little uh, note there. Okay, it goes down. And then this goes in and I can slide this around to where it's going to live and I'm gonna go right around here and now it's pretty nice and you're gonna to have to adjust it to where you need all the remote controls whatever you need electronics can be in a drawer underneath books everything you need Right here, when I lift this up, it makes a great little table that can do work, watch TV, and everything. And supplies can be underneath there. Now, it looks like you would have to go around from the other side and retrieve, or you can reach your hand up underneath there and grab things, so that won't be a problem. Uh, mainly that it comes out towards you phone this is like a tv tray or a table uh, for eating uh, when we want to eat in the dining room or living room <laughs> okay folks and let's see yep yeah. and then one hand you do have to bring it up well with this on there that's adding weight to it so it's not a big thing, but without it, it'll just ride right up at a certain point. That puts it in a nice position, and your feet or your legs fit under the table, so it's not a problem. Okay, I'm going to like it. Perfect. Okay, folks, uh, 
I want to thank you very much for watching my video, and I'm going to love this.